Juro's story is really about caregivers and how we take care of each other. And in this case, it's a Japanese-American family. He's successful, his wife is a lawyer, two really cute, precocious kids, and he has a brother who has suffered brain trauma in a car accident that he was in as well. And so he has some of that survivor's guilt that informs the whole episode. When his mother dies, who had cared for his brother for his entire life, he puts him in a facility, a very nice one. Maybe you can try some of the activities. Well, have you met any new people or made any friends? It was the mother's wish, again, not wanting to intrude on his own life. You made her happy. She wanted you to live your life. Or maybe she wanted to spare me the guilt. It comes to believe that his brother is being physically abused at this facility. And that haunts him. Someone was just harassing my brother. I'll keep an eye on the situation. The story you know, morphs and twists to a place that feels incredibly surprising. You could go to prison. I know, Sarah, I know. Look, I was wrong to barge in like that, but I didn't know what else to do. He took Sam's tablet and pushed him down those stairs. Is that what Sam told you? As best he could. What did he say? <sighs> Look, obviously his communication is limited, but it's pretty clear that guy Kip is harassing my brother. My understanding is that it was Sam who instigated the initial altercation. Leon said it, it was the other way around. I said they had an altercation. You said Kip was territorial with new residents. I also said I wasn't there. Why are you defending him? Who is this guy, Kip? What's his condition, and, and how long has he been here? Uh, Mr. Tamura, that information is private and protected by HIPAA regulations. He's threatening my brother physically and emotionally. What part of that don't you get? Mr. Tamura was convinced that his brother was being harassed by another resident. Kyle Tanner? Yes, Kip. Did the defendant claim to have witnessed this alleged harassment? No, at least not directly. So would you describe the defendant's behavior as paranoid? Objection, Your Honor. Improper characterization. Sustained. Your Honor, the witness holds a PhD in clinical psychology. It's her professional assessment. Still, it's a leading question. All right, then. Dr. Weatherford, please confirm that this is the email you sent to your company's legal counsel regarding Mr. Tamura. It is. Would you please read the fourth and fifth sentences? They're highlighted. From the time Mr. Tamura brought his brother to live at Wildwood Gardens, he's been harboring a paranoid fantasy that his brother is being abused by another resident. I'm bringing this to your attention now because I'm concerned Mr. Tamura's behavior may turn violent. 